Hello. In our previous video sessions, uh, we discussed about uh, various action results available in uh, MVC. Now, in this video session, we are going to discuss about every individual action result with some examples. So, first we are going to discuss about what is a view result and how to configure and use the view result. Let us see a complete overview on view result. So, view result is actually an action result use it to use it to return a view view to the response view result is uh, an action result used for action methods in order to return a view to the response actually view is uh, any dot aspx dot ascx dot cshtml or dot vb html why because the view is under the control of view engine engine so asp.net supports view engines like aspx engine like razor engine if we are configuring views through aspx engine then uh, view is nothing but the ui what it has to render the view in uh, ASPX engine is ASPX and ASCX and the views in Razor engine are CSHTML and VBHTML. So, view result is used to send a view as response to the client and uh, whenever the views has to be sent as response it depends on which view engine is configured and used in our application. Actually ASP.NET applications can use two types of view engines. So, one ASPX engine, another Razor. ASPX engine uh, gives access to the views that have extension .aspx and .ascx. Razor engine will give access to the views .cshtml and .vbhtml. So, if you want any controller action method to return a view to the response whenever it is requested, then you have to define a view result. It depends on what type of view engine is configured. By default, two view engines are configured, but uh, MVC 5, MVC 5. So, the default, the default uh, view engine configured is, uh, is Razor. You have to manually enable the web form ASPX engine if you want to use the ASPX web pages. However, in the older versions of MVC, it supports both uh, Razor and ASPX configured by default. But the configuration settings needs to be changed if you want to use the ASPX engine also. So, by default in MVC 5, the view engine enabled is Razor engine. So, in that case, the views for any action method are actually views for, for any action method, any action method of a controller can be maintained, maintained in uh, two locations can be maintained in two locations one is the controller controller private folder controller will have its own private folder in views controller private folder in views and you can maintain in a shared folder if you maintain view in a shared folder then uh, it can uh, be made available to across any controller action so Anything that you keep in shared folder, it is accessible everywhere and if it is in a private folder of the controller, then it is accessible only to that particular controller. So, the views location can be in the private folder of controller or it can be shared. So, whenever you are designing an action method to return a view, you have to make sure that the view is configured in the private folder or shared. If it is in shared, it is accessible everywhere. That means outside the controller, any another controller also can access. If it is in the private folder, it is accessible only to that specific controller. So, how we can create an action method to return a view and how the view is returned actually? Actually, the view is returned, returned to response 
response by using a helper method helper method that helper method is view so that means uh, we define an action method public view result it is an action result by name some uh, about okay and uh, its intention is to return a view how it returns a view to the response by using the keyword return view and uh, it returns the view for as a response now view is an helper method is an helper method used by view result to return a view to the response how it returns a view to the response actually in the background it uses i view engine and i view i view references i view engine is a collection of view engines that means it will first configure and define the view engines that are required for that particular view rendering so whatever the view engines are installed and whatever the view engines are configured it will get the collection of all the view engines by using i view engine and i view is responsible for finding your view and rendering the view to response so view is completely under the control of view engine so first it has to configure the view engine then it has to look for the view and get the view and return the view to the response that is defined by using i view engine object and i view object i view engine object will look for the collection of view engines enabled and configured and i view look for the view that is required to be rendered and where it will look for the views it will look for the views in two locations one private another one is shared which one is the first one it will look into the private folder first if it is not provided or available in the private folder then it will look into the shared folder now let's see one simple example how we can create a view and uh, render this view to the response let's see i will go to the home controller and we are creating an action result with uh, view result as action result and uh, i define as uh, some about okay and what this about has to do it should return a view a view result can return a view because it is strongly typed other than returning a view it can't return anything else now where to maintain a view for this action method so you can go to the solution we have view folders and uh, in the views folder you can find we have a folder for home controller in this home controller we are right clicking on this home folder go to add and select view this is prompting to choose a view i am selecting an mvc view and uh, view name you can define any name for the view there are various methods of adding a view so in uh, various occasions what you can do is you can even right click on the action method and select add view so or actual you can go to the home folder and right click and add view and uh, which view you want mvc5 view okay what should be the view name here the basic is first always a controller action will look for the view with the same name now the question is can there be a different name view which it can access yes the view name can be different but uh, that we will see in later stage how it can access a different view initially by default it looks for the view for the same name right that means what should be the view name about what template you want to use there are several templates i already told you that mvc provides scaffolding templates which are responsible for handling various interactions they will wire up all the logic that is required for performing crud operations like create read update delete so it is asking which operation you want to do initially we don't want to perform any crud operations then we will select an empty view without any model our view is not using any model we are just creating a view to send a response and it is asking do you want to define as a partial view no it is not a partial view what is a partial view we will discuss in partial view concept and it is not a partial view and do you want to use any layout layout is nothing but like a master page so you can use a master page by default a layout page is created for you and it will be used for your page 
So let us select a default layout page, later we will learn how to create our own layouts. If we do not define a layout page, every time we need to configure the complete markup for presenting information. Instead of that just we will use a layout page, a default layout page will be generated for us. Okay, add, now you can see a view is added. Okay. Now once the view is defined, I will just put a header here and I will say about Naresh IT. Okay. And we can put some information here. Okay, let us run this and see how it will access the view. So I am running my application. In the home controller, we have an about action with an intention to return a view. So I will try to access that about and if it is defined to return a view, it will look for that view and it returns the view. So let us access the controller home and uh, the action is about. The home controller about is going to render a view to the response. It will look for the view at the specific location and it will render the view to the response. And you can see that the view is rendered to the response. So we created a controller action method so that can render a view to the response that we defined by using what view result. So view result is an action result used to return a view to the response. There are several technical points and issues that we have to know related to view result. Those all uh, options that are related to view result we will discuss in our next session. Thank you.